I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, and today we're talking about the proper golf stance when it comes time to swing the golf club. Now today I'm going to dive into this and I'm going to use a mid iron, a six iron when I go through these concepts because the truth of the matter is, is that for almost all your irons, even your wedges, the golf stance doesn't change a whole lot. I will also though at the end talk specifically about the driver and give you a couple key things that you're going to want to know. So first of all, let's dive into this and I want to start with stance width and ball position. All right, so mid iron, swinging the golf club, what's proper? So here's what you're going to do to find that spot. You're going to take your feet and you're going to put them together and you're going to position the ball right in the middle of your stance like so. Now I want you to go ahead and take the golf club and rest it right behind the golf ball. Take your lead foot, which for me is my left foot, move it forward slightly. Take my trail foot, move it back slightly so that now the ball is basically about right in the middle of the stance or maybe a little bit what we call forward of center. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to catch the ball as the club is traveling ever so slightly in a downward motion. And that's a key component when it comes to hitting quality iron shots is you got to catch the ball as the club is traveling in a slight downward motion. Now, when you're doing that, you want to be aware of your stance width. Basically, shoulder width apart is a good guideline for almost all golfers. So go back to the process here, feet together, ball in the center, They'll separate, separate, so I'm about shoulder width apart, and this is going to get you awful close to where you need to be in terms of your ball position and also your stance width. Now let's talk a little bit about handle, the handle position and the hands. Two things you need to be aware of here. One is how much we want the hands forward or back, and number two is how far away from the ball we should be. So let's go through that and give you a simple way to check it. In here, you already know this process, right? We've talked about this. Separate, separate. Now I want you to make sure that you take the handle and move it just ever so slightly forward. So notice how the club is basically pointed somewhere between my belt buckle and my lead pocket. I see a lot of amateur golfers keep their hands way back here and they move it back and now they're behind. This is the death move when it comes to swinging your mid irons or really any iron. So get that handle ever so slightly in front. And that will help you a lot. Now I gotta say this. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to ask some questions on some of the things that we're talking about because this is where we get our best ideas. We get them from you. You know me, always don't be afraid to ring that bell so you know when we get new content coming out. We got great stuff coming out all the time. So that's a little bit about stance width, ball position, handle position, right? Now I told you about distance from the ball. What should we be doing with distance from the ball? And then we're going to talk a little bit about aim. So distance from the ball. You basically want to position your body so that your hands can fall directly below your shoulder. So let me show you how you can do that from down the line here. So I got my setup. I've got my process that I'm going through, right? A little bit of forward shaffling. Separate, separate. Now an easy way to check if you're the right distance from the ball is just to grip the club, let go of the club with your trail hand, and that hand should fall basically right back to where it started. Notice how it just fits right in there. If I'm too far from the ball, Okay, that doesn't match up, does it? You can see the difference there. If I get too close to the ball, that doesn't work either, all right? So from the face on view, go through my process, build that out right there. Okay, that's a good fit. I know that I've got the right distance from the ball. I got my little bit of forward shaft lean. Okay, that's gonna set me up to make a quality golf swing. So I wanna also talk though a little bit about aim and I wanna talk about where the weight should be on the feet. And then we're gonna talk about the driver, okay? I'm gonna give you a little tip with your driver, certainly in case if you actually are slicing your driver, you're gonna really wanna to listen to that. So let me talk a little bit about aim. I believe that for most golfers, especially if you slice the golf ball, you wanna have just an ever so slight rightward aim bias. Now what I mean by that is that if I'm going out here and you can't see the flag from this angle, there's a white flag out here. I wanna make sure that my feet, my hips, and my shoulders are aimed just slightly to the right of that white target line or that white flag there. Okay, now the reason that's important is it's gonna help me swing the club a little bit more into out, okay? Into out, which will help me draw the golf ball. If you're, if you're struggling hitting the draw, we've done a ton of videos on how to draw the golf ball and fix that slice, you can check those out. But with that little rightward aim, it sets you up to swing a little bit to the right. Now, what I tell all of my students to do 
A lot of golfers, they have what these, these they got these alignment rods, right? Okay, they're just basically yardsticks. You can get them at a, at a local hardware store or buy them at a golf shop. What you're gonna do is just take this right here and point it right at your target. So I'm gonna point at the white flag, put it on the ground, like so. And now I've got a good reference point of a square line, a parallel line to my target line. I also like to position this so it's about halfway between my toes and the ball. It's just a good reference point to kind of get a feel for where I should be. So that's a little bit on the aim. So a little bit on stance width, ball position, shaft angle, of course, and then the aim. Let's talk about where the weight should be in the feet. That was the other thing that I promised you that we would talk about. I believe this, and, and we've tested a lot of tour pros, and this is what we see with the best players. They start with a little bit more weight on their lead foot. So when they're set in here, they've got a little bit more what we call weight, pressure, whatever word you want to use, a little bit more on their lead foot versus their trail foot. So they maybe have got, I'm going to say 60% here, 40% here. And when you look at the best players in the world, we've tested them in our lab, you see that all the time. Now why do we like that? The reason we like that is because with a little bit more weight on the lead foot, that allows them to push that weight towards their trail foot and is what we call an unweighting, or it's a trigger motion. If you look closely at almost all golf swings, everybody's got some form of a trigger. Some people forward shaft bend, some people shift their weight. There's all types of different things that people do. And what we have found is the best is a little bit of push. So get that weight a little bit forward, push it towards the right, towards the trail side, and that's gonna put some rhythm and some flow to your swing. So those are some of the key components that we want the irons. Like I said earlier, be sure to subscribe, and I also promise you now that we're gonna talk a little bit about the driver. So let's go through the driver, because this is the one club that is a little bit different. Now why is it different? Well, it's different because you're teeing the golf ball up, right? Anytime you tee the golf ball up, the components are gonna be a little bit different than when the ball is on the ground. You remember from our discussion here that when we're hitting an iron we want to hit slightly down on the ball right well with a driver we actually want to hit slightly up on the ball because when I hit up on the ball that gets my launch up and brings my spin down a little bit so how can we do that without completely changing our swing so I've got my alignment rod down here and I've got it as you know kind of aimed there so I got my feet just slightly to the right of that and I'm going to go through the same process I'm going to put my feet together ball in the center now this time I'm only going to separate my lead foot just a little bit and I'm going to get all of my stance width with my trail foot. Okay, let me go through that again. Ball in the center, tiny bit of step, big step backwards. Okay, now this stance width should be at least shoulder width apart or maybe a little bit more. But more importantly, or just as important I should say, is that now the ball is more forward in my stance. And when the ball is more forward, up here towards my lead foot, that's going to allow me to catch the ball as the club is traveling in a slight upward motion. So those would be a couple of the tips that we want there. I do want to share with you though, two last tips that I want you to do if you happen to be slicing your driver. And that is this, I want you to get set in there, okay, go through the same process. I want you to take your lead arm and I want you to raise it slightly. Notice my left arm works up ever so slightly and I'm going to take my upper body and tilt it back just a little bit. When I'm in this position, this sets me to swing up and also from the inside. Let me go ahead and actually see if I can test it out. So let's go through the process from the beginning. Feet together, tiny step, big step, okay, raise, tilt a little bit. Good balance on that one, and that ball actually I'm not going to lie, I got up in the air pretty good and actually had a nice little bit of draw to it. So getting set up properly, the proper setup when you swing the golf club is different from an iron to a driver, but the process that we went through, the process that we went through is putting the feet together, placing the club down there, separating, separating, and getting our aim is the same no matter what club you have in your bag. If you do these couple things, you're going to get set up better and you're definitely going to start hitting some better golf shots.